So this is the Jiyun Weibo 3 and this is the Jiyun Weibo 3S. They're both quite similar but also very different. Welcome to another video, my name is Mario So, and today I'll be talking about the Gene Weibo 3S and the main differences between this gimbal and the Gene Weibo 3. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to make an informed decision on which gimbal you should get and you'll also find out whether you should be upgrading to the Weibo 3S if you already have the Weibo 3. So first of all, I want to say that this is not a sponsored video, but June did send me this gimbal for me to try and test out. So the first difference is that the Weibo 3S now has a Bluetooth shutter control function. So you can connect your camera to the gimbal via Bluetooth so you can use the gimbal's record button to start and stop recording as well as take photos. This may sound like a minor thing, but in actual practice, it comes in very handy. So if you're shooting on the Weibo 3, you have your gimbal here, and let's say you have your camera right there, you can control the shutter with the record button if you plug the camera to the gimbal. Let's say you don't want to use a cable. You would have one hand in one gimbal, press record with your other hand. And now, if you can do that over Bluetooth, not only do you get rid of the cable, but now you can single-handedly start and stop recording. Oh, that's nice. So to enable Bluetooth shutter control, go to menu on your gimbal, go to blue shutter or bleh shutter, Bluetooth shutter. Make sure that Bluetooth setting is on, on your camera. Once that is done, you can go back to your gimbal and select your camera, connect. Once it's connecting, go back to your camera and allow pairing with your gimbal and it'll connect. So now once you press the recording button on the gimbal, it'll start recording on your camera. Another difference is that the quick release system has been changed or slightly modified. So with the Weibo 3, what you got was something like this, where you would attach your camera to this plate and you could release it and just attach it this way. Now with the Weibo 3S, it's a little bit different. If you use an Arca Swiss plate, they give you an Arca Swiss plate here with threads at the bottom and also a Manfrotto plate. So if you use an Arca Swiss system, you will use this one and this would go on top of this Manfrotto plate via the thread right here. And you have to manually screw that in. But then once that's done, you would just slide your plate back here into the Weibo 3S. The other thing as well is that with this new quick release system, you're able to shoot vertical videos. So this is how you switch it from horizontal to vertical mode. So once you have your camera right here, you would then go ahead, turn this lever into the unlock position. Once you have that unlocked, there is a button here that you can press to slide your camera out along with the plate. And this is what it looks like with that plate. So now to shoot in horizontal, all you need to do is slide this section back into the plate this way. You can balance the camera. And once you have it balanced, there is something at the front right there, this little knob that will tighten your camera and prevent it from sliding back and forth now. And now you're able to shoot vertically. We still do not get automatic horizontal and vertical shooting, unfortunately, like you see in some other gimbals, even in some of June's gimbals for phones. So hopefully that will come in in the near future. The other major difference too is an improved sling mode system. This new sling mode comes in a quick release sort of format, which allows you to quickly detach it from the gimbal or you can just leave it on the entire time. When you first get the Weibo 3S, you get this little plate, which is the quick release plate that is going to go in here with this modular sling grip. So all you need to do in the beginning when you first get your gimbal, use a hex key, and just permanently attach this plate to the bottom of your gimbal. 
If you wanted to use this without the sling mode attachment, you can just attach your tripod directly to this. But if you wanted to use this, you can use this quick release plate and attach it this way and lock it. And then you can go and attach your tripod. Now you can easily take this off from the gimbal, depending on whether you want to use it, as opposed to the Weibo 3, where you have to individually detach the sling bar and the wrist rest. This is the wrist rest on the Weibo 3, and this is the wrist rest on the Weibo 3S. It's a little bit smaller, has a smaller form factor, but it feels like it's a little bit more comfortable than this. You're able to use this to adjust the tilt angle of the wrist rest. This also extends similar to the Weibo 3. Another difference is that on the Weibo 3S, there is a thread hole here to mount other accessories. On the 3, there was nothing else here. On the Weibo 3S, you're able to adjust this knob and you loosen it. You're able to adjust this, make turn it left or right. So if you hold it this way, you're able to adjust this, lock it and hold your gimbal this way. You can also turn this all the way this way and then you have a double-handed hold. So the entire system is more compact and more centered for better center of gravity. The only thing though is that you only have a wrist rest on one side so this hand will have to work a lot harder. So with this if you want to adjust the tilt of this bar, this lingmo handle, you have to go ahead with the hex key and we'll loosen this first before you can adjust the tilt. On the Weibo 3, you're able to just do it like this. Another minor difference is that in the Weibo 3, you got this screw that attached magnetically to the back of this plate. So you can use this to tighten in your camera to the plate. Now this has disappeared on the Weibo 3S. Why did they do that? And I can't find that anywhere. That was a really handy thing on that Weibo 3 that I really enjoyed, but I'll have to go back to using my keys or carrying one of these guys everywhere I go. In terms of some of the differences in the actual gimbal, on the Weibo 3, we had the power button down here because that's where the battery was. But on the Weibo 3S, the power button is right up here. In the Weibo 3, we had the menu button here and then this is where we turned on that fill light. And on the Weibo 3S, we have both the power button, the menu button, and also the fill light button. At the front, they're both very, very similar. The Weibo 3 has the red color here. On the Weibo 3, we had a microphone, a built-in microphone right here that I'm pretty sure nobody used. On the Weibo 3S, over here, we don't have anything anymore. I actually never use the built-in microphone on the Weibo 3. And if you wanted to get proper audio, you're probably better off getting your audio with a dedicated microphone. In terms of the joystick on the Weibo 3, there isn't as much resistance. Whereas in the Weibo 3S, the joystick is a little bit bigger and there seems to be a little bit more resistance. The fill light on the Weibo 3S is also a little bit brighter at 1000 lux compared to 800 lux on the Weibo 3. In terms of battery life, the Weibo 3 had a battery life of 21 hours, which is pretty insane. Probably one of the longest battery lives out there in the market of prosumer gimbals. However, on the Weibo 3S, the battery life is 11.5 hours, which is still a ton of juice compared to other gimbals out in the market, but it's significantly less compared to its predecessor. And because of the reduced battery, there's slimmer form factor on the Weibo 3S. There's no longer that shoe kind of thing or, or this duck beak that comes out at the, of the bottom of the gimbal. And that is where the battery was to house all of that 21 hours of battery life. In terms of pricing, the Weibo 3S and its standard version, which only includes the gimbal and the mini tripod, comes at 319 US dollars. Currently, at the time of the making of this video, the Weibo 3 is 299 US dollars, which is about $20 cheaper 
than the Weibo 3S. The combo version of the Weibo 3S comes at $439 and that includes the gimbal, the mini tripod, the master move accessories which are the new wrist rest and the new sling mode module and a backpack. So overall, the Weibo 3S is an improved version of the Weibo 3. There are a ton of things that make this a little bit better than its predecessor, but certainly it's similar enough that it might not be worth the upgrade if you're currently using the Weibo 3. You get reduced battery life, but you get an improved wrist rest and an improved sling grip. And that can make your overall shooting experience a lot more comfortable. You also get a Bluetooth shutter function control feature which comes in very handy. In my opinion though, if you already have the Weibo 3, you could just skip the Weibo 3S. But if you're out in the market for a gimbal in this price range that could handle a full frame camera pretty comfortably, then definitely go for the Weibo 3S. And if you want to save some money, you can opt in for the Weibo 3 or even find the Weibo 3 on the used market. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button on your way out. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.